Hey folks, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Jesse. I'm a filmmaker who lives in the middle of nowhere and I've had Starlink for the past year and it's made my life so much easier except for two things. on a lot of big video projects and the biggest thing for me as a filmmaker is being able to upload large video files and when your internet looks like this it's not very enjoyable I would set big files to upload overnight and tell my clients you'll have it by the time you're at your desk in the morning, which I didn't love. And I would be really nervous all night. I would get the most religious I'd ever been in my whole life and pray that these files would not be interrupted on their way up. And it worked okay. I got away with it, but it wasn't great until Starlink emailed me and said I could order and I ordered so fast. And this was pretty much exactly a year ago. been an absolute lifesaver this past year with this pandemic going on and I have four kids and having them all on online school at the same time wouldn't have been possible before. I needed the bandwidth. It totally delivered until yesterday when I drove it over to a friend's house and said goodbye. So it's been pretty good, but it hasn't been perfect. And since some people cultishly do not want to hear negative things about their favorite companies, or billionaires. I found someone who's willing to share their thoughts and I've agreed to keep their identity anonymous. Hi, my name is Jesse and I've been a Starlink user for one year. Don't get me wrong, Starlink has been great and the other options are very limited, but it hasn't been perfect. On the first day of back to school remote learning at 9 a.m., it was out for 90 minutes and it caused a lot of stress. There was another outage for 45 minutes in the middle of the workday last summer. And there's one other thing. This is so stupid. The other thing that's kind of funny that didn't work well on Starlink is Instagram. I would say it was workable about 20% of the time, which is kind of funny because people don't talk about it. And I had to do some digging to make sure it wasn't something on my end. And it's a very common problem. I don't know if Facebook works or not. I'm not on Facebook, but I found it kind of funny. Most of the time when I would open Instagram and see a post, even a picture post, that little loading wheel would creep along and jump a little bit here and there, sometimes time out and other times eventually load until you swipe to see the next picture and then it started again. And don't even, don't even think about watching a reel because you'll always get fed the first three seconds and then it will just freeze and freeze and freeze. So that's the other weird thing that never worked. I'm like 80% sure that it wasn't on my end. A lot of people were feeling it and talking about why. So I'd assume Facebook works sort of the same way. Um, I, I could post things fine, but I'm not a big fan of social media anyways, and I try to limit my time on it. So it was something I embraced because I got this internet so I could do work, so I could upload my creative work. And I think social media, all these distractions are actively stealing your time that you can be quiet in your own mind and be reflective and be creative. So they're, it's, I don't know, it was something that didn't bother me and it was completely in line with what I wanted to do personally. I understand the irony that this video itself is a social media push and all of that, but I'm trying to tip the balance from consuming to creating any way possible. So long story short, our region has a big push to get fiber optics out to rural communities and I'm very lucky and fortunate that fiber optics went down our road right past our house. So I've hooked that up. I have a 1.5 gigabit upload download package. I have no idea what to do with it. Um, it's the same price as Starlink. It is actually half price for the first two years, which is incredible, I'm super lucky. It's rendered Starlink obsolete. I know that people and my friend are not on a 
on a route that is going to get fiber optics anytime soon. So for them, Starlink is an incredible option and it'll make a huge difference. I don't at all want to poo-poo on Starlink because it's been great and it's an incredible option for people like me that didn't exist before. And so it's kind of interesting to see it push further and further out into the country and make working in rural areas more manageable. So I leave you with this one thought. Tech isn't the answer. It's gonna upload this video incredibly quickly, but one thing it won't do is make me a better creative person. If you don't have Starlink, pretend that you do. Pretend that Facebook and Instagram don't work and put your phone and your computer in airplane mode for an hour every day and take out a pen and paper ideally, that's my preferred way, or Apple Notes if you're scared of pens, and let your brain just sort through itself quietly and spit out some ideas. And that, I guarantee, will make you an advanced human being. Thank you for watching. I know Jesse would like to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe, but he's too self-conscious to. I know he would like to tell you that it makes an incredible difference for small YouTubers like myself. If you want to see me do weird things, if you want to see me embarrass myself on the World Wide Web, if you want to see me have no shame, I mean, if you want to see Jesse have no shame, like, comment, and subscribe.